What's up guys, it's your boy KG Horn bringing you guys an awesome new vlog video today. Today I'm going to be talking about Love Trumps Hate. Before you guys click out, I just want you guys to know this is actually a video based on a project that I did. So yes, I will get a little political talking about what Love Trumps Hate means, but I will more than so talk about the actual video itself and what kind of sparks this video to happen. If you have not seen the video to Love Trumps Hate, check out the description. Link is right there and it will also be at the end of this video, so go check out Love Trumps Hate. This video was one of the best projects. Projects I done. <coughs> so, love trumps hate. What does love trumps hate even mean? A lot of you guys might see or Google it to find all these crazy articles talking about love trumps hate. And I just want to say right now, I love and hate Trump and I love and hate Hillary Clinton. You gotta only like one and hate the other, right? No, my friends. Wow, did you realize that you don't have to follow just one person? Why? I love both, they both have flaws. The reason I bring up Love Trump's Hate. Love Trump's Hate is basically saying that we love his hate. I know it's exactly what it says. What that means is a lot of people can agree. I mean, a lot of my family is mostly Republican. A lot of my friends are Democrat. Uh, me, I probably identify as nothing. I'd have to call myself an independent, an independent, an independent. because that's how political you state it. But I don't like to identify as anything. I just want to like look at that person, say, wow, he just made fun of a disabled person. And then be like, wow, she literally just said that there's no emails, even though that's a proven fact. What I wanted to say about Trump is when it comes to being a president, you have to be professional, right? I mean, a lot of people hated Bill Clinton because he went and got head, right? I mean, or like, what is going on? Like, and everyone went crazy over that because like, oh, we got head, oh my gosh. And it's like, and he had sex with this person and blah, 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 blah. That's not being professional, right? Like that can be broadened and pushed together and mumbled up as not being professional. He's not being a professional president. No, it's not illegal, but it's morally wrong, correct? Like it's, it's like you are a president, you need to keep a good figure. And that's why I read tons of articles researching about this is everyone said he's just not being professional. A president shouldn't do this. A president shouldn't do this. It's the same thing now. I mean, he's literally been in, I think 30 plus movies or was it 40 plus movies? And he's also been in like a WWE wrestling stuff. He starts Twitter rants that are just crazy. Like he's literally just doing these crazy Twitter wars on Twitter. Like should our president be on Twitter? That's a whole nother subject. Twitter, 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 but should he? And then we could talk about him saying grabbing a woman by the, you know what he says right there. And other things, our president should be professional, correct? It's just kind of like a simple thing. Just because in the fact that, I know a lot of us can argue like, why should he be professional? Shouldn't he be more like us? Well. If he's not professional, what are we supposed to be like? Are we supposed to look up to our president? Or are we supposed to see him as an ally, like a friend? It's kind of like the same thing. You don't talk to your mom as your as a friend, right? You don't go to mom and be like, yo, I just smoked so much weed at school today. You're like, hey mom, I went to class today and I was on time and I have A's in all my classes. And then you turn to your friends, you're like, yo, let's go smoke some weed or some shit, right? That's kind of how it goes. So you kind of see what I'm talking about. You should. We talk to our moms and we talk to our friends differently. A president should be the same way. We should look at him as our president. We shouldn't look at him as a president and our friend and someone we follow on social media as well. Like there's so many different ways he should be a solid figure for us. That's something that we can talk about, my opinion. I should have said that at the beginning because I'm sure there's already some hateful comments going down in the description, but whatever. That's my opinion, but that's kind of why this whole thing sparked. And I say all that because it kind of leads into this video. Now what I mean is, Loving Trump's hate is kind of sparked when I seen him not being professional, saying all these crazy things about Muslims, Mexicans, and all that kind of stuff, and yada, 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 we can just go on forever. A lot of it, of course, is debatable. Maybe he's just saying it blankly, or maybe he's just being straight racist. There is a line there, and I, I can admit that there is a line, but it's just like, so I, I look at it, and I just think he's, he's racist. Like, it's so simple to me, but as soon as I bring it up to, like, one of my Republican family, they, like, totally twist on me, like, wait, wait, wait. Now you make me second guess, maybe he is just being this way, but it's just debatable, you know? But as just looking at him, like when I turn on the TV and I see him talking about Mexicans, like all of them are the same, like it's just like, dude, you realize like, we're so, like, we're so different. 
you cannot classify us all. I mean, me, I have a lot of Muslim friends. I go to school with a lot of Muslim people. They are awesome people. They're great, they're kind, they're just awesome and energetic. And I have a lot of good Muslim friends. I have a lot of Mexican friends. I have a lot of black friends. Like I have so much diverse friends. It's just kind of how we grew up, you know, in this, in this place. So, I mean, I just don't even see people for the color of religion or anything like that. We're just all good friends and you know, it's just crazy to see him kind of talk about just the fact that he just talks about people in select groups. You know, it's just like, I know we're our United States and we need to protect our country in a way, but then again, we are all the same person. Regardless of what God we come from, we come from the same one. Yes, I ripped that from a Macklemore rap song, but still, we all come to the same one. This is starting to become more a political rant than talking about stuff. So in all essence, we can debate about Trump's hate, but obviously, there is some things that he has said that are just straight, blatant, ridiculous for a president to say and or do. There's at least one. I've found from all my family members that we can agree at least one thing like, wow, he probably shouldn't have said that on president. But on the other hand, almost every president has done that. So it's not like he can't be 100% professional. It's just debatable again that Trump can be a little more crazy and hateful than other presidents. Um, but again... So anyways, all of this I say, all this in the past, all this political stuff, I wasn't very much into politics, but of course the older you get and you realize the more taxes that are coming out of your check, you start to kind of like to get into politics. Kind of how it goes. Now I kind of see my idea of this. I'm independent, I love Hillary, I love Trump. I think, they, you know, I, I see good and bad, I see good and bad. I'm just a positive person. Just to put this in perspective, every time I go to the movie theaters, I never leave the movies unhappy. Never, literally. Never. I have a whole wall right here of a oh, hundred plus tickets to the movies and I don't think I've ever left the movie being That was awful. I want my money back. Every time I leave I'm like that was awesome. There's this part and this part. There's always positivity in everything and if you don't agree with that That's you who you are, but I can find positivity in like everything. Well, I know some things just came to my mind, like, what if someone did this or killed someone or something? Yeah, I don't know if there's a lot of positivity that comes from that. But, you know what I mean. Positivity is amazing. Going back, I created this video on the idea of Trump having this hate, and I wanted to showcase that we should be positive. Again, like I was just talking about, being positive is key. It's key to me, it's key to life. Positivity is just everything, everything. So I wanted to create a video of being positive, of sharing positivity and happiness and love. So what I did is I started writing this idea and started choreographing and it all started happening because I had this audition that I wanted to go do and so I found this song of Macklemore called Wednesday Morning and the minute I heard that a couple weeks before this audition I was like that song is amazing. I went and I danced to it, choreographed and then went to auditions and then I didn't get the get what I was auditioning for but I loved the idea still. I created this amazing place. I was like what if we kind of like changed it up a little bit and added some kind of artwork like artwork to kind of put up and kind of showcase more, you know, just not movement, because you can't really dance politics. How do I, as an artist, make it so my dancing can be seen and still get the message of, that I'm trying to portray in politics? So I started working with a projector and a visual graphic artist that I found in town. He made this amazing piece of art that is on a projection that shoots up and then I can dance inside this projection giving this, you know, kind of 3D-like movements and such. So after we kind of met together and started talking more and uh, got this video all finalized, I hit up, of course, my videographer that's shot numerous of my dance videos to start working together. So we got together and we shot this dance video and here it is, this projection with this amazing dance video and I loved it so much. It was so powerful just by itself. I, I was so proud of it. I wanted to give an intro to show maybe like everyday life. How can I show everyday life and show this message and it all of a sudden clicked what if I did a video of me doing this intro of me doing just an everyday life everyday life of a college student and how politics and Trump affect me as a student you know at school or college or whatever just as a person in general how does that all affect me and how can I portray this message and that's why I came up into this idea of having this illusion so here I am going through everyday life Trump is hitting up and blowing up my phone of course we all have Facebook and everything's blown up on Facebook about politics and then I kind of uh, space out and I go in this illusional world kind of like a thought like it's in my head and then I show this message of four minutes you know dance of this message of love Trump's hate, you know, basically just saying like how Trump kind of brings me in and he kind of like makes me feel like so inner and that I can't really 
communicate with other groups of people but now I really can um, and so at the, by the end of it I just say like I kind of break away this love comes through and love cuts Trump's hate um, the hate that he has and it cuts him away and then it just shows love Trump's hate but then the best part is after I shoot, shot that beginning and middle piece, the, you know, the beginning and the illusion, I was like, we need an ending. We need an ending to bring me back into that real world and show how Love Trump's Hate has affected me. So what I did is I went back in, we went back in and started recording again and we shot an ending. And the ending just shows me kind of getting this message saying like, oh my gosh, everything's gonna be okay. Like I found this little bit of positive. I smile, I kind of walk off and I find all my friends. We start laughing and hugging and smiling. And so the whole idea is we're in everyday life Trump and politics will always bombard you, oh, just bombard you over social media all the time, all the time. And so, and then we're always pushing that trans-like state of where you're just kind of thinking about politics, thinking about your own, like I did, like not ideas, but your own thoughts, your own feelings, your own opinions, and then how you portray them, right? Because that's how it goes. You see some kind of information, you take it in, you kind of think about it, and then you take all that whatever just went in your head and you kind of portray that outside. So what I said, I took all this information about Love Trump's hate and I was like, let's be positive. And so my kind of letting it all back out, taking in all this negative information about politics, I let it back out with positivity and just be happy because all in all, by the end, we are all human and we all need to be positive and life is phenomenal, life is amazing and we need to be happy. I... Anyways, that is how this whole video kind of sparked. That is a little about politics. That's a little bit about the video. That's a little bit my opinion. It's just kind of everything I wanted to throw a video kind of explaining where this all came from. My kind of thought process, if any of this kind of made sense. If you guys have questions, please comment below. I'll be sure to comment back and let you guys know if you guys have any questions. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope I can catch you guys in maybe possibly another video. And we'll see how this one does. Yes, yes. Alright, love you guys. Peace out.